you know, I thought we came out with some energy. Um, we didn't necessarily show it in our first three drives on offense. We went three and out, first three. Um, but I thought that uh, we're ready to play. Um, and then uh, I think offensively we got it cranked up, got it going. Uh, we had a turnover on the kickoff return, which hurt us. They ended up getting that's about a a 10 point swing because they kicked the field goal and they got the ball right back inside our side of the field and you know, we weren't able to stop them you know, they got a touchdown um, then uh, you know Shaq fumbled down toward the end um, three yard line you know the momentum swings in the game and that's kind of what what got it uh, they did a very good job of you know we lost uh, sign Shuva who started corner for us all year and we lost him and you know, I think our injuries in the in the defensive side caught up to us. Um, you know, they they did some things a little different. Went uh, five wide, and you know, kind of exposed those injuries. You know, when you're playing with, uh, I, I mean, I think we had with sign that made six starters out on defense, and uh, you know, we're missing one defensive lineman. The rest are in the back seven, in the secondary, and in the linebacking core, and. You know, it's uh, uh, it's hard to do that playing a team with that caliber of athletes and that quarterback. You know, I, I thought last year he was one of the best ones we played, and you know, I guess he just likes to play us because he played. I thought he played extremely well, um, uh, and you know, they you know, we just the fourth and ten, I uh, just got to you know they made the play and we didn't. I mean, it's, that's kind of what happened. You know, we had some mistakes that we made that we could have gotten off the field defensively. And uh, we just, uh, it's, it's, I want to say how, it, I don't want to make excuses, but when you got young guys in there and they're going to make mistakes and we just happen to make mistakes all at the same time. When I go back offensively, I thought Nick Gerber played a heck of a game. Um, I thought, uh, you know, Noah had a long catch, Tyler Sweet a long catch. Nick kept us going with his feet. Um, I thought our offensive line played uh, really well. Um, so, you know, it just it's it's just uh, it just hurts. It's painful, you know, when uh, there's a lot on the line and our kids feel pain, and that's you know I feel it for them. I mean, just it's hard to come in this morning and you know talk to them and. We got a big game coming up, and that's what you got to focus on. And you know, you try to correlate things with, you know, how life goes. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, sometimes you can really bust your ass in life and expect to do really good things, and it just doesn't happen for you. And you know, but you have to keep living. You have to regroup and keep doing it. And, um, again, it, you know, this is a heck of a game coming up. This week, it's we're playing the Super Bowl for Eastern New Mexico. So, um, so we got to be prepared. To play, just to play our game and not make mistakes. We got to. We got to look at who we're going to have this week on defense. You know, come up with the play the scheme that fits the personnel in there, um, and then uh, offensively, we just got to keep going. I mean, I think our offense is hitting a good stride. I think they're doing well, and um, it's fun to watch them out there and play and watch everybody get involved. And uh, I think that uh, they just got to keep rolling and doing what they're doing. It, it's a completely different mindset for offense from. Permian Basin in Western Oregon, where we weren't scoring and putting the ball in the you know in the end zone, we were kicking field goals. And again, we kicked three field goals last week. So if we convert one or two of those, it's a different ball game as well. So you got to look at that. But we're putting the ball and getting more explosive plays, which I like. Um, and then defensively, we got to limit the explosive plays. We gave up way too many explosive plays. If we can do that and uh, you know play our game. Uh, then, you know, the wagon will will stay here. If uh, we don't, 
then that team, I don't care. I think they're two and seven, but their record, they're they're a little better than their record shows. And they they've had struggles. They've had the same issues we've had a little bit. And, um, but you look at them; they're a well coached football team. They're a good football team. Um, and it's going to be good to get them here. I mean, this will be the first time the Wagon Wheel game is played in Buffalo Stadium. Uh, it's senior night for us, so there should be a lot of excitement to try to send the seniors off uh, their last home game. And it being the Wagner Wheel game adds a little extra incentive, I believe, for us. So um, I'm hoping that uh, we get a good crowd to celebrate these seniors and what they've done. And uh, love to see the students out and do what they do because they make an impact uh, over there on that sideline. Most of these guys came in during your tenure. Uh, that's kind of a hard question because to see what they've accomplished and what they've done, but still right now I'm very disappointed for them and that we're not still playing for an opportunity to get to the playoffs, in my opinion. Um, so I think, you know, as the week goes on and we'll get closer and talking about the seniors and what they've done and what they've meant to this university and this program, uh, it'll become a little more nostalgic. But right now, there's just a lot of pain that I have for them because I know how hard they've worked and what they've done and to not uh, be in the position that they want to be in. Um, so uh, that's why it's hard. It's just, it's, it's just, um, I don't know. I know this, we're going to miss the hell out of them. So, and there's a lot more than I thought there were for <laughs> this COVID year. has got me guys that are graduating. And, uh, you know, as I talk to them all, this is the, the thing that I'm really most happy about is as they come in and they, uh, I always make sure I ask them, okay, what, what's your degree in? So we make sure we get it right. And when are you getting it? And, over half have said my masters getting in December, my masters getting in May, my masters get in masters in business administration. Um, that, that makes me proud as a coach and for our coaching staff in this program too. You know that's why they're here. You know we want to win football games. Don't get me wrong, I want to win football games more than anybody else. I think, but um, we got to prepare them for life. And we tell them that you come here, you get a degree, and now they're. A lot of these guys are leaving master's degrees. So um, I, I'm extremely proud of that uh, and those young men for going through football and playing college sports is not easy. Um, a lot of them have play and work and, and go to school and to be walking across stage with a master's and just a degree is, uh, I'll hold my head up high for that, for those young men. So. You mentioned you're excited about Mm -hmm. We had Nick Gerber on our show last week. Mm -hmm. He said, talked about the environment a lot. And, you know, he was like, uh, they don't like us and we don't like them. Yeah. That's what they like about the environment. Oh, yeah. What are you excited for uh, when it comes to uh, I, I wish that I could take people on the road with us sometimes. The environment that this stadium produces is unlike any other. It, it's a, It's a... It's a small major college environment with the students and the fans and you know how close you are to the field. And then you go other places and there's a thousand people and they're not right on top of you or we don't have anybody behind us. You know, I, sometimes I wish there were people behind us like our students are and giving the other team a bunch of crap about everything. You know, it, it just energizes you. It just, it's like, okay, they're into this, so. Um, but our, I mean, we've when we played down there, we've had a, a busloads of, of students go down there, and uh, it means a lot to our players to to feed off of that. And uh, I mean, we hear them over there giving them grief. You know, we hear them, we hear the the banging and all that kind of stuff. The speaker that's been out there, and um, we hear them yelling, chanting. And it's it it's it lifts you up, and uh, I don't know if there's a hatred. I mean, that's for those guys to decide. But I got a lot of respect for for anybody that plays this game and coaches this game. And um, 
but uh, I, I mean, I, I think there's a strong dislike, other than hate. Hate's such a strong word to use, but there's a strong dislike for those uh, those people in the green in New Mexico. So that you know, our fans, our students, if they come out, I know they'll be loud. I know they'll be boisterous, and uh, I'm excited to. For them to join in on this, because you know, it's been four years since it's been here. I've never been on this campus. Hopefully, we'll have a lot of. And then I, if we win it, it's going to be sitting out there. And I, I want our students to be, you know, get involved in our celebration because it's part of it. I mean, they're part of this. So uh, that's what I think. Hopefully, be neat. Um, we just got to do our part and, and play the way we're capable of playing, and they'll do their part. And, get under their skin a little bit and you know at the end hopefully we're the ones running up that hill to get that wheel. Well it, I remember my first year um, I I heard about it until you're in it you really don't understand the strong dislike for uh, the opponent in this one so um, it just ratches that you're, you're, you're the teams are ratched up to a different level I mean it just it just brings the different level and the community is uh, the community understands it you know you, you want bragging rights in this area for the next 364 days and um, I think that's the difference it, it's but until you've been in it for Division Two, uh, this is the biggest rivalry I've been in in Division Two, uh, or been around. You know, you know, I've been lucky to be in some of those as a young coach in some of those uh, major college, but this ranks right up there when it comes to looking right across the field and seeing the little red in your eyes and let's go after and get them. So.